Hello and welcome to this video cast and podcast for subscribers to davidike.com and uh, I'm in Estonia about 40 minutes drive from the capital Tallinn and behind me is the Amari Air Base which is very relevant in this time because it's a um, NATO base in Estonia. Estonia of course bordering Russia and we have this uh, Operation Atlantic Resolve where um, the propaganda against Russia and how Russia is going to uh, invade um, border countries uh, has led to this build-up, the justification of this build-up um, of uh, NATO um, resources and the NATO uh, military operation in these border countries like Estonia. And the demonization of Russia has become so insanely ludicrous and so blatant in the sense of what it's trying to achieve. Uh, if you uh, can make people fearful of something, whatever it is, in this case, fear of Russia, then they will um, not protest and even support the fact that um, uh, you uh, will take action to protect them from what you've manipulated them to fear. And so everything now is the Russians. We've got a situation where um, in the United States we have um, the uh, emails that were leaked, which of course devastating to um, the uh, campaign of Hillary Clinton. Uh, and that was blamed on the Russians. The Russians are interfering with, um, as these uh, military vehicles go past, um, the Russians were interfering with the American election. When, um, in fact, the evidence produced was zilch. And then people say that, uh, okay, we have... Um, uh, all these American agencies that are saying the same, like uh, the FBI and so on, they're saying the same, that it was the Russians that was involved in it. But then you say, well, hold on a minute. These agencies were all controlled by the same people, and therefore they're all singing from the same script, um, the same propaganda script that is trying to sell the line about Russia. And... Uh, of course, it's going on in Europe. It's going on in terms of um, the uh, the uh, demonization of Russia in these uh, border countries and the rest of Europe, but particularly here, um, to the point where this um, Operation Atlantic Resolve has kicked in. And uh, talking to people um, in Estonia and, and uh, talking to people about their friends' uh, reaction to, to all this, it's very clear that there um, are uh, large numbers of people who have actually bought this idea of the Russian threat. When, in fact, you look at the uh, history of uh, NATO since the Second World War, and what you have is NATO is the threat to peace. Um, what is NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is supposed to protect uh, this area of the world, what is it doing bombing civilians in Libya? What is it doing through its constituent parts being involved in these uh, wider conflicts in the Middle East? NATO is not there to um, protect uh, people from the Russian threat. It's there as a war machine to um, impose the will um, of the uh, hidden hand which, uh, which controls it. There are people like NATO, organizations like NATO, the EU and what have you, they're all in the end controlled by the same people. And uh, we've been uh, talking on the uh, streets of Tallinn, the Estonian capital, uh, to people to see uh, their reaction to what's going on and their reaction to uh, the propaganda about Russia and the attempts to make them uh, fear and thus accept uh, a, an ever greater NATO presence in this part of the world. Can I get your opinion on the sort of impending threat of 
Russia to the Estonian community? Uh, it's hard to say where it's going at, at the moment because in Estonia we have a few political parties that are Russian minded and also the things going in the USA I think that the threat is never going to go away and it's going to stay but when Russia is going to make a move on Estonia we don't know. This huge amount of propaganda poured to the, into the heads of our people on the daily and nightly basis it's been successful and people they know that uh, uh, aggressor and the invader is from uh, is uh, on the east side of our border and that's the, uh, nobody nobody even cares about that and uh, and if you ask the common people they don't care because they have a lot of a lot of uh, difficulties to face them in everyday life so it's just i don't think it's, it's serious in the West, particularly in America and Britain, there's a massive propaganda and demonization of Russia, basically trying to fear people into the fact there's an impact, there's a, an attack imminent. Is there that feeling here in Estonia? Uh, we've always had that feeling, but since we got free from Russia in uh, 25 years ago, then since that time, the, everybody's always talking that there's a big threat, but actually we haven't seen any big moves from their side, so I think people are coming down because nothing actually has happened in like the past 25 years so many big things well actually so far we we we've been dealing only with propaganda which is uh, which makes the world only black and white uh, and basically wanting to let's say 90 even more percent the propaganda has been telling us that Putin is is about to invade uh, Estonia any minute and and we should be um, prepared for that, and especially we should be de depending on our NATO allies. And well, I, I don't think personally. I don't think that uh, it's the right approach. And um, um, th there, there are no signs, who documented signs, that uh, Putin is is preparing an invasion to anywhere. Because if people are telling about uh, Ukraine. There's been no invasion, and even in NATO, great leaders, big leaders, Alafuzov and others, admirals, they've been telling that uh, in Ukraine, let's say, um, uh, the legal government is not facing and fighting against Russian federal troops. There are definitely there are some some um, volunteers from all over the world there, but but and the same is here. So so far we've been uh, hearing only what it is, let's say, propaganda and no analysis whatsoever. How strong is the propaganda on the media here trying to scare people into the fact that big bad Russia are going to come and invade again? I think it's very strong because I think uh, who listen every every day mainstream media they are scared. Well in the, in the West in Britain and America we've had a lot of propaganda against Russia and Putin in particular trying to paint him as a modern day Stalin What's been the, the response to the propaganda here in Estonia? Are people scared? Are people, f are people actually buying the propaganda against Russia? I think people are buy, buying the propaganda very much. They... Estonian people uh, is saying in Estonia, if it's uh, written on newspaper, it must be true. So there are some views of Estonians on... Um, how they see the current situation with regard to the NATO build-up uh, in their country and indeed uh, other countries bordering Russia. And uh, just come a mile down the road from that NATO airbase and here is a, a cemetery, a military cemetery from the uh, time of the Soviet Union, which of course um, occupied uh, Estonia and uh, it brings it home just a mile apart you've got those that are um, engaging in war and those who came to an end as a result of military actions and we have allowed the world to be taken over by the most extreme psychopathic mind and when you see the number of people who have been killed uh, and maimed uh, both uh, 
military and civilians, decade after decade after decade. Uh, this world has been constantly at war. You, you look at the history of wars involving the United States alone since 1776, it's absolutely shocking. So, why is it happening? Why, um, here again, are we um, building up and pushing towards uh, another conflict, this time with, with Russia, which of course will bring uh, China in as well? Why is uh, that mayhem and death and destruction happening day after day uh, in the Middle East, year after year after year? Because um, the psychopathic, uh, insane people that we have allowed to take this world over are deciding that that is how it's going to be. And had Hillary Clinton uh, been elected uh, as President of the United States, this war with Russia would have definitely kicked off. It might uh, still do so with Donald Trump. Uh, and I hope that the conciliatory things that he said with regard to uh, conflict in Russia um, are followed through. But with Donald Trump, he reverses what he says and what he thinks so often, then we've got to wait and see, not take his word for it. And it's not um, encouraging when you've got uh, Trump in his election campaign talking about a massive increase in the United States military. It's also all, 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 all uh, ready, rather, vastly, vastly in uh, um, uh, proportion greater than something like seven other countries combined, including China and Russia. I mean, how much military does the United States want? But of course, it's not the United States military. It's the military of the hidden hand. And all this uh, money, this extraordinary level of spending while Americans sleeping the streets that is um, spent on the military is not for the benefit of the United States. It's for the benefit of that that works through the United States that works through its presidents, that works through its military and its Pentagon. And these are the people we've give, given the world away to, and we need to take it back. So is it really um, too much of an ask that instead of uh, demonizing Russia, that those in power sit down and come to a agreement with Russia, come to a situation, for instance, where Russia and the countries of Europe and the United States combine together to sort out the um, United States, UK created terrorists in, um, in the Middle East and bring that horror to an end. If they were reasonable people who generally wanted to bring it to an end, that would have happened already. But they're not. Putin seems very accommodating and, and intellectually is uh, far uh, more intelligent than the Western world leaders combined. I'm not saying that he's um, God's gift to humanity and, you know, he... Um, runs tea parties for kids. He's obviously a, a ruthless man or he wouldn't have been running Russia for so long. But neither, although the propaganda would like us to believe it, neither is he Stalin. Neither is Russia now the old Soviet Union. And the offer is there for the West to come to an accommodation with Russia so we can all get on with our lives. I hope Trump 
uh, like I say, follows through with what he's saying, and that happens. But in the background, the hidden hand won't want it to happen because the hidden hand wants World War Three, because that's been planned all along. Three world wars to transform the nature of human society. The first two world wars transform the nature of human society. Look what happened. And they want to complete the job with World War Three. That was always the that was always the plan. And this is what this demonization of Russia is all about. So we, as uh, the people, the, the human race, billions of us who face the consequences of what these uh, insane people in the shadows are doing, need to understand how the game's played and no longer to accommodate it, no longer play a part in it, no longer uh, meekly walk along saying, yes, sir, no, sir, they must know what they're doing. They don't. Except that they do know that they're seeking to bring about yet another world conflict. So um, we need to get informed about what's really happening because these events are not random. What's happening down the road from here with the NATO build-up in Estonia is not random. It's part of a long-term plan to bring about yet another um, horrific global war. And we, this time, need to say it's not going to happen. And we're not going to give our support to it. And we're not going to allow the politicians and the military to any longer be the vehicle of this hidden hand and, um, and do its bidding because we're not having it. I mean, how many more, how many more graves is it going to take before the world and its people take power back over their own society? and stop these mad men and women devastating it year after year after year. Left alone, the vast majority of people in this world could live together. But with the hidden hand constantly manipulating, divide and rule, playing one part of society off against another, playing one uh, uh, race off against another, playing one religion off against another, has created a situation where it seems that we can't live together. But left to our own devices, we could, if that hidden hand and its public uh, agents, if you like, were no longer allowed to, um, to do what they've done generation after generation after generation. We need to be the people that bring it to an end by no longer buying the propaganda, by seeing through it, and by saying, we are not having it anymore. If you look at the uh, history of uh, NATO since the Second World War, and what you have is NATO is the threat to peace. Um, what is NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which is supposed to protect uh, this area of the world, what is it doing bombing civilians in Libya? What is it doing through its constituent parts being involved in these uh, wider conflicts in the Middle East. NATO is not there to um, protect uh, people from the Russian threat. It's there as a war machine to um, impose the will um, of the uh, hidden hand which, uh, which controls it. The, uh, people like NATO, organizations like NATO, the EU and what have you, they're all in the end controlled by the same people. And uh, we've been uh, talking on the uh, streets of Tallinn, the Estonian capital, uh, to people to see uh, their reaction 
to what's going on and their reaction to uh, the propaganda about Russia and the attempts to make them uh, fear and thus accept uh, an ever greater NATO presence in this part of the world. Can I get your opinion on the sort of impending threat of Russia to the Estonian community? Uh, it's hard to say where it's going at, at the moment because in Estonia we have a few political parties that are Russian minded and also the things going in the USA I think that the threat is never going to go away and it's going to stay but when Russia is going to make a move on Estonia We've got a situation where um, in the United States we have um, the uh, emails that were leaked which of course devastating to um, the uh, campaign of Hillary Clinton uh, and that was blamed on the Russians the Russians are interfering with um, as these uh, military vehicles go past um, the Russians were interfering with the American election when um, in fact the evidence produced was zilch and then people say that uh, okay we have um, uh, all these American agencies that are saying the same, like uh, the FBI and so on, they're saying the same, that it was the Russians that was involved in it. But then you say, well, hold on a minute. These agencies were all controlled by the same people, and therefore they're all singing from the same script, um, the same propaganda script that is trying to sell the line about Russia. And... Uh, of course, it's going on in Europe. It's going on in terms of um, the uh, the uh, demonization of Russia in these uh, border countries and the rest of Europe, but particularly here, um, to the point where this um, Operation Atlantic Resolve has kicked in. And uh, talking to people um, in Estonia and, and uh, talking to people about their friends' uh, reaction too to all this, it's very clear that there um, are uh, large numbers of people who have actually bought this idea of the Russian threat when, in fact, you... Hello and welcome to this video cast and podcast for subscribers to davidike.com and uh, I'm in Estonia about 40 minutes drive from the capital Tallinn and behind me is the Amari Air Base which is very relevant in this time because it's a um, NATO base in Estonia. Estonia of course bordering Russia and we have this uh, Operation Atlantic Resolve where um, the propaganda against Russia and how Russia is going to be uh, invade um, border countries uh, has led to this build-up, the justification of this build-up um, of uh, NATO um, resources and the NATO uh, military operation in these border countries like Estonia. And the demonization of Russia has become so insanely ludicrous and so blatant in the sense of what it's trying to achieve. Uh, if you uh, can make people fearful of something, whatever it is, in this case fear of Russia, then they will um, not protest and even support the fact that um, uh, you uh, will take action to protect them from what you've manipulated them to fear. And so everything now is the Russians. We don't know. This huge amount of propaganda poured to the, into the heads of our people on the daily and nightly basis. It's been successful. And people, they know that the uh, uh, aggressor and the invader is, from, uh, is uh, on the east side of our border. And that's the... Nobody, nobody even cares about that, and and if you ask the common people, they don't care because they have a lot of lot of uh, difficulties to face them in everyday life. So it's just, I don't think it's, it's serious. In the West, particularly in America and Britain, there's a massive propaganda and demonization of Russia, basically trying to 
fear people into the fact there's an impact, there's a, an attack imminent. Is there that feeling here in Estonia? Uh, we've always had that feeling, but since we got free from Russia in uh, 25 years ago, then since that time, the, everybody's always talking that there's a big threat. But actually, we haven't seen any big moves from their side, so I think people are coming down because nothing actually has happened in like the past 25 years. So many big things. Well, actually, so far we've we've been dealing only with propaganda, which is uh, which makes the world only black and white. Uh, and basically wanting to, let's say, 90 even more percent, the propaganda has been telling us that Putin is is about to invade uh, Estonia any minute, and and we should be um, prepared for that. And especially, we should be de depending on our NATO allies. And well, I, I don't think personally, I don't think that it's the right approach. And. Um, um, there, there are no signs, who documented signs, that uh, Putin is is preparing an invasion to anywhere. Because if people are telling about uh, Ukraine, there's been no invasion, and even in NATO, great leaders, big leaders, Alafuzov and others admirals, they've been telling that uh, in Ukraine, let's say, um, uh, the legal government is not facing and fighting against Russian federal troops. There are definitely there are some some um, volunteers from all over the world there but but and the same is here so so far we've been uh, hearing only what it is let's say propaganda and no analysis whatsoever how strong is the propaganda on the media here trying to scare people into the fact that big bad russia are going to come and invade again i think it's very strong because i think uh, who listen every every day uh, mainstream media they are scared well in the, in the west in britain and america we've had a lot of propaganda against russia and putin in particular trying to paint him as a modern day stalin yeah. what's been the the response to the propaganda here in estonia are people scared are people f are people actually buying the propaganda against russia i think people are by buying the propaganda very much they Estonian people uh, is saying in Estonia, if it's uh, written on newspaper, it must be true. So there are some views of Estonians on um, how they see the current situation with regard to the NATO build-up uh, in their country and indeed uh, other countries bordering Russia.